guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today is Tuesday when I'm filming this and I have a huge thrift haul for you from Goodwill. This is from last Tuesday and I'm finally getting around to film it. I mean, I had it all in my living room and I have a car load that I got to bring in. So, Thanks for being here today. And if you're new, welcome. Um, my name's Dee, and I do a little bit of everything on my channel, but it's mostly uh, thrifting related, uh, be it thrift hauls, uh, shop alongs, uh, thrift flips. Um, I do occasional crafts, cooking, and baking as well. So if that sounds good to you, how about hitting that subscribe button? I just made it to 13,000 subscribers and I'm so excited and I just want to keep moving up. So if you could, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube lets you know anytime I upload a new video or go live because I do have live sales every Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern as well. All right, without further ado, y'all, let's get into this video. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to start with this. This is a brand new Liz Claiborne wallet. Brand new in the package. Look at, let me take it out. Oops, well, it's stuck by the tag thing, but I can kind of show you. You could see that it's all, it's all brand new. Beautiful, beautiful wallet. So that will be available in an upcoming sale. I love finding new with tag items that I can get at a decent price. I'm going to show you this too. Now, I bought this little chair. My dad, uh, years ago, uh, he was doing a lot of woodworking, and he made me this little chair to put on my front porch to put a potted plant on. So I found this one. Now, the seat is split, as you can see. Duct tape does wonders, but not on something like this, okay? So, um... I have some, it's called Bondo, and it's a, a fabulous wood filler, and it cures in 10 minutes, and you can sand it and move on with your project. So I got this at a fantastic price. I'm going to fix that, and I, I would love to just leave it this color because I do love the color. It's like a Robin's egg blue. So we got this cute little piece for outside. I got this, um, this box uh, for a thrift flip, of course. Handmade in the Dominican Republic. 101 hit and run. I have no idea what, what that means, but um, 10 almost robusto. Oh, they must been, they must have been cigars. Cigars. So this will be for a thrift flip. Um, I got myself a beautiful set of sheets. Look at these. Aren't those pretty? So we've got the full, the flat sheet and two sets of pillowcases. And these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful sheets. So those are for me. I have to put those in the wash. So I'll just set them on the floor. <laughs> um, I also got this clock. Um, it is working. I thought it was really pretty, but... My thoughts were, um, I really want to do, like, make it into a picture instead of a clock. It's got a beveled glass in there. 
or convex glass, not beveled, convex. Um, so I may take all the clock stuff out and do something else with it. So that's my plan for that piece. Okay, um, I did buy this because I have a lot of kitty cat lovers out there. Now, it is a teapot and it is missing its lid. But I thought how cute it would be to put a plant in there in the kitchen. So that's why I got it. Look how cute. <laughs> Let me tell you what. This thing, now... It's, it's been repaired. This thing was so dirty with caked on kitchen grease and dirt that I could not see that, that the whole, the tail was repaired. I could not see that through all the gunk that was on this thing. I'm like, oh my God. When I put the crud cutter on it, the stuff just rolled off. And then that's when I saw the repair. But you know what? It is what it is. You know, I don't know why they put stuff out on the shelves that is so filthy, crusty. It's like you want to just touch, hold it like that. You know? But... Whatever. I got this for my mom because she wears these kind of hats outside when she gardens. Look how cute. Squeeze me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the little Florida orange birdie. Oh my God. What was his name? Ugh. I'm going to have to look it up. That little Florida orange bird. I forgot his name, but this is, look at this hat. <laughs> I already showed it to my mom. She she loves it. This I got for my craft room um, to hang up and put my, my roll of paper towels on. Uh, that way, it's up on the wall, it's out of the way, and I don't have to keep looking around for my roll of paper towels, because every time I use it, I send it someplace else. <laughs> so, this is for me. Ta-da! <laughs> I found some more rolling pins, guys! But guess what? I got some fabulous transfers that are fruit yes they are fruit i can't wait to do them on rolling pins <laughs> yes i don't know where i'm gonna put these i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave them here because they have to go downstairs hopefully they don't roll off on the floor Got another one of these awesome peg racks. This one's in really great condition. Yes, it is. It's old. It is definitely on the older side. I mean, I'm talking probably 40 years because it came from a store called Ames that we had here. That store has been closed, oh my word, for years and years and years and years. I'm saying like 40 years. Yeah. So, got that. That will be for resale. Binks is down here laying on my new sheets. Um, I got this. And I think it got damaged in root. Because I didn't believe it to be cracked when I bought it. But who knows. It's this ghost tea light holder and when I set it on the table I could hear that it was cracked listen see that that sound and the crack is right over here I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it you could see on the inside maybe there it is see that yeah 
So I'll just be keeping this one. I got this cute, this is a very cute little rustic birdhouse. You know, a decor piece birdhouse. Not You're not going to put it outside, obviously, because what the heck's going to fit in there unless maybe a hummingbird or a finch? But I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> I love it. Then I got this one. This one, you could put this outside. This is a cool one. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Look at it. It looks like a church. It's got those uh, church-shaped windows. I love it. That was a very cool piece. I found another enamel coffee pot with the inners. There's the guts. <laughs> and this is in really fantastic condition. This thing is screwy. It's like bent. There we go. The This thing here is a little bit bent. I'm going to have to... There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> but yes, it still has a label on it. But I can, I'll take the label off. So we got that. Guys, I just got home from babysitting. So pardon me while I have a swig. My peach sparkling water. Okay. Then I got these. I love these. Now there's, I, oh, that was just the glare. I thought there was a chip underneath his brim. But nope, they're in excellent condition. So those are adorable. I got this. It's obviously copper underneath like um, silver plate. But I think that looks really cool. But I love all the detail. Now, if nobody wants it just the way it is, I just think it's awesome. This is made by um, Victorian Plate EP Copper. Uh, there's the um, back stamp. Um... If nobody wants it the way it is, I will um, I will paint it and then distress it and bring out all of that beautiful detail. But I really liked that piece a lot. And then I found this pretty plate. This is beautiful. Uh, it is a Bavaria piece. Look at the gold. Beautiful roses. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful for spring. Just love it. You can hear all the motorcycles are out today. It is what, May 5th? Yeah, May 5th, May 5th. Oh my God, it is March 5th. And it's been like close to 70 degrees here. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I'm loving it. But I'm sure within like two days, it'll go down to 30 again, you know. But I'm enjoying it while it's here. That's for sure. That is for sure. Then I got this. I just really like the base. Now, it's for obviously a large pillar candle, but you could put anything on top of here. Uh, I love it. You could actually put a bowl, if you wanted to, on here uh, and fill it with water and make it into a bird bath for the garden. I mean, you could do all kinds of things with these uh, wrought iron pieces. So I picked that up. I love it. Let's move on to this side. I got this awesome apple pitcher. 
And this is in excellent condition, guys. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. There's no, there was a sticker on there at one time. Um, but I love this. I have a collection of um, these little pictures on top of my refrigerator. Um, do I have an apple one? I used to. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I love it. I got this pretty set, this bathroom set. This is beautiful. It's got an iridescent paint on it, and it's got these beautiful purple roses on it. And it is uh, to put over your, your uh, box of Kleenex. And it also came with a beautiful soap pump as well. I'm sure it probably had a toothbrush holder at one time that probably got broken or something. So that's why they donated these two pieces. But yeah, these are beautiful. Six by six tissue cover. Yeah, it doesn't have a price on it, an original price, but yeah. So I grabbed those. I got this. I'm going to put a little transfer or something on here. Look how cute. It's a little wall pocket. You could put some beautiful like lavender flowers in there or something like that. Baby's breath. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. So we got that. I really do love that. Um, I also got, this is a beautiful set. Um, well, three pieces are a set and two pieces are a set. Um, I got these. Th these all came in a bag, you know, a plastic Ziploc bag. Um, I got these two bunnies. Um, I, they're too big for my project I'm working on. I wish I could find one just a little bit smaller. So I might have to figure out something else. But I got those. And they're just little figurines. And then there is this set of three. Look at this little guy. He's got a little plastic thing that his feet are in. They're, are they, they're all taped in there, but... So he is painting. Look how cute he is. So there's that guy. Then there's this lovely little lady in her dress. I think it's a lady. She's got a dress on and she's carrying a flower. And then there's this one. And of course, from being in the bag, his ear broke off. But look at, I have to see if I can get that ear back on. Look how cute. Is that not a, an adorable three-piece set? Oh, I love it. I'm so mad about the ear, but I'm going to see if I can get it back on. I don't know why they put glass in those damn bags. Um, I got a bunch of stuff back here on the chair, too. Let me do this. This is a six-piece set, guys, and it is gorgeous. If you like peonies, flowers, oh, my word. Four mugs. Look how gorgeous these are. These are, they're all in perfect condition. So there's four mugs. And then the creamer and sugar. Mm-hmm. All in perfect condition. There's your creamer. And there is the sugar. It even has... Sugar's still in it. That's so disgusting. 
<laughs> why do, why, why do people do that? Why? <laughs> That's so disgusting. Ew. Okay, next I got, this is, um, if you, I think my friend Gloria Boyd has Asian decor. Look at this gorgeous needlepoint of this geisha girl. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? Um, it's It was framed by the Genesee Picture Frame Company, um, Genesee Street in Buffalo, New York, which is about 30 minutes from me. Um, yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful picture. There was only one. I was hoping there was a pair, but... Sometimes you only need uh, a picture, one picture for a small area. So I said, why not? I'll grab it. So I'm going to set that back here. Um, I got this uh, patriotic wood hanging stars. I'll probably pair it with something else. Perhaps. And then I got this. I know I have a lot of primitive fans out there. This heart with the um, rusty crusty star on there and the little pit berries, you know. <laughs> so I got those. Oh, that's not a rusty crusty star. That's wood. Dang. That's wood. It's not metal. Ooh, it's pouring now. This I got. This is so cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may sell it just as is if somebody wants it. Wow, it is coming down. You hear that hitting my awning out here outside my kitchen window. Look at this gorgeous mirror. Now, you can hang it either way. Now, it's supposed to hang this way because that's where the slot is for the nail. But I'm wondering if you couldn't put another hanging, you could put a, another hanging system on the side so you could hang it like that if you want to. But believe it or not, it's plastic. It is plastic, folks. I just thought it was really neat. And it has like patina to it. To, so it's like looks old. I thought it was awesome. I love it. I should keep it. All right. Just a couple more things, guys. This I got for me. This is Fiskars. Um... It's an easy stamp press. Um, I did not price these. I didn't go online and price them. I don't remember what what they, maybe I did, but I don't remember what they go for. But I do stamping when I do my thrift flips. So I thought, what a great, what a great um, idea this is. So we'll have to see, but it's brand new in the package, never opened. So I'll have to check it out. We'll check it out. I saw this and this matches my bathroom. So I may hang this in my bathroom just as it is. Relax and renew. So if I don't hang it in my bathroom, I'll either sell it as is or um, do something else with it. I got a two pack of canvases. 
And I can't tell you how beautiful rub-on transfers look on a canvas. They look like they're painted, but they're transfers. So I figured since I found these, I'm going to try it out and see, see how it looks. So I got those. Then I just got this pretty, it's a very pale, it has a pink hue to it, but it's just a frame um, that I can use, you know, for one of my, my thrift flips. So I picked up that. And my last item, this is really cool. Look at this tray. Uh, this was made in Hong Kong, so you know. Look at that. The American Clipper Flying Cloud. How cool is that? What a nice decor piece for people that collect ships and stuff. Pop that up on a shelf or use those Velcro strips and hang it up on the wall. I mean, that is really cool. And it's in really good shape. There's This is like dirt on the back here. But there's the Hong Kong um, sticker. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it into focus. But yeah. So we got that. And that is that quite a haul i got quite i mean i was lugging bags in for days okay what did i spend though that is the question 138 dollars i saved 52.68 with my discount yes the old senior discount. So guys, I don't know. What do you think? Did I do all right for $138? I don't think I did too bad. And especially with the items that I'm gonna, you know, flip. Um, I think I've done pretty, pretty good, pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one, which I'm recording right after this one. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.